And Hal, what is your report? Professor, you brought Kula Diamond as you requested. But might I ask why she is important for the rise of nests? She is not. What? She is an anti K, the last one in existence. And I need her power. My molecules are dying, little by little. My body will dissolve if I don't fix this. Which is why I need the girl's ice abilities. So I can freeze my molecules. That way, my body will survive a little bit longer. Long enough for me to create a new body. Uh, I see. And Professor? She should send out a rescue team to bring back Krizat. He's possibly being pulled by Kay. No need. Krizat has already carried on his mission. His purpose is done. Purpose? Why do you think I recruited Chrysalid, despite his sad display in these past tournaments? Simple, because I needed him to fight his original self. k -dash. I used him because I knew that k -dash would use his full strength, his full rage to fight the one who caused him so much misery. And now, thanks to him, we've achieved at least 93% of our project. So you use Krizat? After all that lecture you gave him, you simply use him? Yes. I needed him to get hasty to fight Kay. But he did do something useful for a change before dying. Professor, how can you- Are you going to turn on me? And how? <gasps> Remember, I was one of the scientists who developed K49's powers. And I can recreate him. Will you now try to kill me and destroy your only opportunity of seeing your friend alive again? No, I will not. Good. Now I must check on our prisoner and prepare her for her new purpose. Where am I? What happened? You are safe. For now. You? Who are you the one who attacked me from behind? Who are you? Nameless. I am simply nameless. What is, what is this? Don't waste your effort. That force field is designed to hold the power of the anti case. So I noticed. I got the ouchies to prove it. But what code are you? A very special one. In fact, all the research, all the projects that Ness has created, were all thanks to the experimentation we applied on him. He was our perfect lab rat. Wait a minute, you... you're Rogel Bernstein. But I thought you were dead. Things are not always what they seem. What do you want from me? Relax. You will not be harmed. I will extract your ice powers, little by little, to freeze my dying molecules. Dying molecules? Rest assured, you will not die soon. It will take maybe a few years until your services are no longer required. Hold on, Professor! You will not kill the Anti-K! Professor? Well now, it seems you've grown attached to her, Nameless. Is it because she bears a striking resemblance to Isolde? <sighs> Don't you ever mention her name in an insulting tone! Or what? What will you do? Kill me? <laughs> <sighs> 
Remember this. You hold Esote's living essence in your gauntlet. And I am the only one capable of creating a new body for her. I'm your only means of resurrecting the one you love. This man used Quilitzel without any hesitation or regret. How can we be assured that he will not do the same to us? Dying molecules, Professor. You are not the real Ruko, are you? You'll never have the chance to find out. <laughs> Take her to the laboratory. I will need to use her at once. What about K and the others? For now we wait and see what their next move is. After all, they still have a part to play in our project. This place sure hasn't changed a bit since I was last here. Come. Adrian is obviously waiting for us. We must give full report. <laughs> and all I gotta do is put up with the one-eyed weirdo. Now, Kay, behave. Hey, Maxima! Wait up! We wanna talk to you! What is it? Come on, tell us. Open up. Open... what? Oh, come on, man. We are military men who really have the sweet company of a beautiful woman. The only thing we have is a woman with a personality as cold as ice. The least you can do is give us the details of your gigs. You guys are not making any sense. Just what are you talking about? We know that you have been living with Diana ever since the end of KOF 2001. And we know about the little pet name she gives you. Max. <laughs> Is it with you people and pet names? So tell us, how is she? <laughs> um, uh, uh, how is she? What? Easy, man. You can tell us. So, uh, how is she in the bed? Hey, hey, hey! Sh shame on you people! What gives? Come on, man. This is just an innocent conversation between us guys. Hey, take your head out of the clouds! The only thing I did was live with her under the same roof. That's it! And let me tell you right now, she's no sweet potato. And even if I did, which I didn't, and if we were, which we're not, and if we ever had, which we hadn't, it's none of your damn business anyway. <laughs> um... What did he say? I don't know, but I can tell you right now, he was not speaking English. Private Muchiko, it's a pleasure to see you again. I'm glad to see that you haven't changed at all, sir. Enough of this formality crap! Just what the hell's going on here? I see you were just as discourteous as the last time I saw you. Whatever. I thought you and your people were hunting down the remaining agents of Ness. How's it possible that Kula was kidnapped by the same people you guys are after? We have been trying, but they are more astute than we thought. They know the right places to hide and the right positions to escape surveillance cameras. They are not foolish enough to hide in the places that Diana informed us about. Then why didn't the armies just send out more men to track them? Because it's only been eight months since the attacks in New York. Due to that, our forces are completely minimal. Even so, why didn't you warn your armies from other countries about Ness? That would have helped. You are not thinking clearly, boy. It's not wise to let armies from other countries know about nests. Why not? Do you think they will want to bring them to justice? No. They will want to use their advanced technology for their own purpose. Which will obviously start an endless war. Would it be wise to use the sacrifices of many innocent lives for that? No. It is very important that the remaining agents of nests remain in silence. Especially now that the world is far too jumpy.
damn it all. I'm starting to hate when you're right. Just calm down, Kay.